Providence, the self-proclaimed creative capital, adds weight to that claim with a vibrant community of artists moving across disciplines and blurring the lines between art, activism, and community engagement. There are a lot of very community-centered um, artists, artists who are interested in building community through their artwork, and it's just an incredible place to work. My name is Becky Davis, um, my pronouns are she, they, and I am an artist and educator uh, here in Providence, Rhode Island. Davis was born in Georgia on a military installation named for a Confederate general, something that still resonates in their work. There was one project that I did called In the Shadow of Dixie, and that project uh, was focused around um, holding space on Confederate monuments across Georgia. I held space on monuments in their shadow and wrote postcards to local politicians who had jurisdiction over the space. The performance was both active, asking politicians to discuss their positions on the monuments, and a conscious nod to the means used by the Daughters of the Confederacy to fund the monuments. They funded many of those monuments by throwing house parties, by entertaining. Um, and to throw house parties, you have to send invitations, you have to send letters. So understanding the role that the past plays in creating the present and setting the tone for the future, yeah, is really important to my practice. These works are from the Bloodstone um, series. This was the very first collage that I made from this series. Davis's latest work starts with an historic image and then uses collage to add layers and depth. There are stones on either side. And at the center, a window of hope. Having something that signifies life and beauty, but also fragility to come up in the center of this um, cave space, I thought was very evocative. Best case scenario, I hope that my work serves as a mirror for folks to see themselves, to better understand their own lives and how they connect with the larger story of, you know, our American story. You ready? Let's rock. In the Providence art scene, somewhere between dance, music, visual arts, and activism, sits the House of Glitter. The House of Glitter is primarily a queer-affirming Afro-Latinx dance company, but also a chosen family. The chosen members of this family include... I'm Asitan uh, Sita Kulavali. I'm Steven San Chumalai Tong. And not present on this day, Matthew Garza, Trent Lee, and Anthony Andrade, all of which are co founding members. These five members are the foundation of the house. And of course, glitter, because who doesn't love a little glitter? But to understand their sparkle, if you will, you must focus less on their dance moves and more on their ability to spark a movement. Hey, let's try We've gone to events and done things where we just sort of showed up and asked people to show up with us as a community. So very much community building uh, through our arts and through our movement. And whatever we find ourselves finding a rhythm to is what we sort of define as our art. To understand what that all means and how it works, let's travel back in time to December of 2019 when, pre-COVID, the House of Glitter began a two-year residency at the former home of Essex Hopkins. Hopkins was famously a Continental Navy officer during the Revolutionary War and infamously the captain of a slave ship that resulted in the tragic deaths of 109 enslaved African women and men. We knew that um, we didn't want to sort of bur just simply burn down the house because that, that'd be the easiest way out. So we take away the idea of cancel culture and we think about healing and restoring and what that feels like and what that looks like for each of us. So much of historic and cultural preservation is about keeping things the same. And that's the last thing that we wanted to do. For House of Glitter, change came by creating an activist dance opera inspired by the unheard voices of Hopkins' victims and inviting the public in to share in the experience. Baby, I am an island, so 
We want to ruffle feathers and want to change what we see as historic preservation and turn it into historic healing um, in a way that feels like empowerment. And House of Glitter holds regular African dance classes in their performance space in Providence, and dance is a huge part of their origin story. Right, the members met through a dance troupe out of Brown University, and they've expanded their artwork now. They've got a record label, they've done some other stuff, but dance really is still foundational to everything that they do. All right, up next, a celebration of spirit.